Hey guys, this is Nahalbert and in this video we are gonna talk about a simple trick from which you can access two internets, two ISPs in your PC at same time, simultaneously and you can, you can use one uh, one internet where, with one application and another internet with another application. Without wasting any time, let's get started. It's my so what it does it actually does just IP binding so what actually happens you your PC can uh, simultaneously connect to different networks so if you're in a situation like you want to play and you want to stream but your internet speed is kind of slow you're a mobile internet user or you're you play on Geo or Airtel or something like that like I'll give you my example I am a streamer but I am in Kashmir and uh, we don't have 4G from like uh, one year now so what I do I have this Vodafone sim it gives me like 128 kbps speed which is 3G speed and uh, basically we are on 2G right now which has like 40 kbps speed but the game works perfectly you know, I can play PUBG Rainbow Six Siege or something like that uh, on Geo with normal ping so that's not an issue but the issue is I can't stream or I can't do background stuff if I have to download some stuff I am not able to do that so for that I was able to make this video for you guys there so you can do the same what I am trying to do download this forcebind uh, forcebind.rar I'll put this in the description just open the rar files extract it once you have extracted it open it you'll find force by an IP 300 okay dot uh, 1.32 just open this and copy the force by an IP and force by an IP DLL not the 64 one just copy it Windows E go to local disk C and then go to Windows then go to system 32 find system 32 and paste this paste it over here I've already done it so it's showing me to replace the files fine once you're done that after that you have to go if you're on Windows 10 and uh, you have a 64-bit version you have to copy this and this 64 1 2 and on system 32 just click back and here you just have to scroll a bit down and go to system wow 64 and you have to paste it over here I've already done this step too so I just have to replace or something you just copy this over here if it asks for administration just privileges just click continue and that's done once you've done this you can go to command prompt and enable the software from there but I am going to provide you this software over here GUI this one you just have to open this this software is literally so hard to find on Google. I've, I've done this work for you. Thank me later in the comment section. All you have to do is just, you know, send to desktop or whatever. I've done it already or over here. Right click, go to properties, go to compatibility, change settings for all users and check the button. Check this one as admin button. What it does, it, oh, you know, obviously starts this software as an administrator. So when you don't use it as an administrator, it's it's gonna open the software from another you know from another folder from which it's just installed or something. But when you're gonna open it through administrator, it's gonna open the load the software from system 32. On that, you just right click, open it. It will obviously open it with your administrative purposes. You can see here it shows bind ip.dll is found found okay means your software is correctly you have done all the steps till now perfectly okay so as you can see you can drop down over here and you can see only one IP address it's fine just cut it over here it was just a checkup so you go to here and you can see there are two connections over here but I can't you know connect both Wi-Fi at the same time I just have one Wi-Fi card right so what you can do is simply uh, let me tell you I have two internet connections one is my GeoFi and one is my mobile internet my mobile phone so I'm gonna plug in my mobile internet through a USB cable and start USB tethering 
I clicked on USB tethering and let me disconnect this it's connected right so my USB device is connected and this one this one is my uh, GeoFi connection fine so I'm gonna connect it, uh, connect this one too okay so you can see it's connected and this one is connected too but here it sometimes shows the LAN one sometimes this one right so what you can do you can check it out like for example I'm gonna open Steam I was downloading this game Ring of Elysium just gonna start the download speed remember my internet speed via my uh, mobile phone is 120 kbps which is this one 95 kbps which means it's capped to 9, 120 kbps means my this internet is working on being on steam right so i'm just gonna pause it. i'm not even gonna pause it just let it be there let it be there okay so you can see my my internet capability right now is just 120 125 kbps right so uh, uh, if if my download is you know in the background i can't play game right if i'm just using one internet so i'm gonna lively demonstrate you how it ha is really happening i'm gonna use force by an ip and i'm gonna click here you can see now you can see two ip addresses so you have to find your ip address which one is your ip address of your mobile phone or the another one you just go to task manager and go to performance scroll down a bit you can see the ethernet and the wi-fi differently okay so the ethernet is 1 mbps which is 120 kbps it's bits don't get it wrong it's in bits so 1 mbps it's uh, the download speed it is being taken by the steam you can see over here and the wi-fi it's 0 kbps the wi-fi when you click on wi-fi you all go over here on the ipv4 address and you can see it's 192.168.1.100 and that is the this one i this ip address over here in the four span ip gui just click on this and browse the exe browse the file you want to use browse the exe file the application you want to use via this internet the wi-fi internet so for example i'm gonna you know browse it to get a ui of the you know android emulator and i'm gonna open it fine uh, i just browsed it and now i'm gonna press run and i'm gonna wait you can see it's starting and when it gets started you can see it's gonna take up some data it's giving it some data right now you can see this ethernet is giving its 1 mbps constant speed to the steam and my wi-fi is giving whatever it is giving to the tencent gaming buddy only so i have linked two internet to two different application at same time isn't that cool So you can see over here what is my ping my ping is 91 okay it's fine and I'm gonna even go to training so that you are will think like I'm gonna be disconnected or something you can even disconnect this you can cut it it's no issue see it's it's constant 120 kbps so nothing is happening like that and now you can see over here the ping it's 968 it'll go down okay this is the ping 80 right it's 88 i'm gonna go full screen you can see i'm not lagging at all smooth as ever right smooth isn't it isn't it that's a simple tutorial to use two internet connections simultaneously on your PC, on your Windows 10 or Windows 7 or Windows 8. You can simply use, everybody can use this. So share this video with your friends if you like this. You can stream, you can even stream through this trick. And I hope you go, you go further with this trick. And remember my channel. See ya, bye bye. Subscribe to my channel right now. Bye! 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 Bye!